Greetings YouTube, Kundas here, and let's continue being a lucky Irish, as currently Desmond, but very soon to be Ireland. Because we can totally form Irish Nation once we reach Admin Deck 10. Which is why we're focused Admin, among other reasons. Let's continue. I can get a claim on England, right now, and I am going to want to claim Yorkshire. Fabricate claim, because it is your province that is worth the most. And also, if I look at coalition, England is still super upset at me. Bur oh, Burgundy is. Okay, no, there's still a lot of uh, aggressive expansion. I think the provinces France gave me have triggered a lot of people in a really bad way. But uh, I think we'll be we'll be fine. Oh, Burgundy really is in the range of coalition. Let's uh, improve relations with him. Oh, but hostile relations, because I'm rivaling him. Yeah, okay. He's probably gonna die soon, though. Brabantian Separatists. Whoa, 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 whoa. Flanders is about to be freely transferred to uh, Brabant. Glamorganshire, and now there's provincial unrest. Oh, Glamorgan? Oh, wait, Glamorgan is this one. Oh, the Welsh Separatists are back. No! They were gone. Why must they be back? War exhaustion, mostly. And mostly separatism. Because the religion isn't as much of a problem for us right now, because we have stability. And, uh, well, we do have a lot of intolerance. We are pleased. Gain a base manpower in Oxfordshire. Why not? That's amazing. And this is also why economic is such a great idea. Free development. Oh, religious turmoil is happening. Um... Let it slide. Sure, whatever. I'll flip that back later. I can turn to reformed. Or... Uh, I, that, okay, it doesn't cost me stability. It only costs me prestige. Yeah, okay. Let's do it. We have to do it anyway, so... Essex is already being converted. I suspect Gloucestershire will follow very shortly. So let's start converting some Irish provinces. Actually, let's just go down the list from the bottom. Let's convert our Irish provinces that uh, aren't on the English mainland. We've lost colonialism. And I think we lost the rights to colonial Caribbean, but that's alright. Yeah, it is now unclaimed. And now I can totally tell... What is your liberty desire? Hey, Irish pirates! How about you uh, become the right religion? And now you're unhappy? And, uh... Well... It happens. Same religion, though. That should... Why did it go from 60 to 30? Uh... Let's go improve relations. That'll be fine. Okay, now it's properly reformed, so I don't need to recall and send back. And this will be converted on its own. Oh, your liberty desire is pretty high. Oh, my mercantilism plays against me, so I have to be careful. SX has converted to reformed. I expected that. Now my religious unity is 64%. And it will climb up more and more. We get a lot of fervor. Which is great. Our prestige is garbage, but peace, positive stability, and religious unity. Excellent. Trade will be helpful. Because we will definitely use that. War will kind of be useless. An offer of marriage. Um, seat of strong aristocrats. Which would give it... More autonomy. Uh, piss off the nobility and gain prestige. I need prestige right now. I don't need a consort. Although I do need marriages. Am I still married to France? Um, Alright, goodbye prestige. You were hard earned. Let's tell our pirates that they're great guys. I'm gonna get another claim on England. This time on... Uh, 
Kent. And then we're going to stop fabricating claims on him for now. Uh, did England get his... Uh, it's not yet a colonial nation. He's still colonizing. He has two colonies active and he has four... Oh, Denmark has rivaled me. Interesting. Can I rival you back? You no, know, I already have Burgundy as a rival. Oh well, Denmark, you stink. Whoa, you actually lost land to Hamburg and Lübeck. That's hilarious. And you lost your P over Sweden, which is unsurprising. And you have your Danish Russia, which is exploding. And Iceland exists! Hey, Iceland! You're awesome! Okay. Now. Okay, this is good. Lost trade dispute. Oh, they're colonizing! They're colonizing on their own! Go, my Irish pirates! Expand yourselves! <laughs> oh, that's amazing. How, how quickly is it growing? Plus 11? Okay, but they're not... Um, they're paying their full price, so they can afford to colonize. Oh, that's amazing. That is so amazing. Uh, Austria is now a great power. Alright, we're gonna... Work our way up to become a great power ourselves. Uh, speaking of great power, and I'm noticing technology as well, we're kind of lagging behind in terms of institutions. Why is colonialism not spreading to us? Oh, it has. It mostly has. It's almost like everywhere already. Oh, it's going up so quickly. Yeah, okay, so I don't need to be worried about that. Hey, we have a consort! Her name is Hilda, and she has good stats. I'm cool with that. Das him Hain. Let us keep converting things. Stability, national unrest, and more diplo rep. I like this. I like this very much. Hmm. We do get a lot of fervor. I'm gonna activate trade. Just so I get money, maybe. Mind you, it would help if these guys were not upset about being my vassals. Uh, most well, it's that events and province defections and provinces developed by overlord that is causing all these problems. But they'll be fine. Oh, and war exhaustion also plays a role. That's something I have to keep in mind. Hmm. Okay, there we go. They've come back to being a really nice and peaceful vassal, and they're still colonizing, which is great. Hope you guys keep it up. I like seeing that. It fills me with happiness. But I wish you were colonizing this instead. But you know, beggars can't be choosers. So how long until uh, we embrace colonialism? Wow, okay. 1532, you'll be here in 1533. You're already present. This is the slowest one. 1534. So realistically, if I wait three years, I can just embrace colonialism for free. That's the best part. That is the best part. Because we didn't embrace it yet, but uh, it's going to, it's just going to get cheaper and cheaper the more I wait. There's two more provinces that are about to get it. Maybe I'll just debase my currency and embrace it. Oh, unbalanced research. Crap. I need to tech up in uh, admin. Um, let's see though, how much does it cost me to embrace it? 140 sounds good, set it up, Santi, or lose admin points. Sounds good, set it up, I don't care about more rebels, who cares about that? It's not going to be my problem anyway. Now costs 110. Yeah, and uh... You're about to flip. I'll just wait for that. 1532. Yeah, that's gonna be really quick. And then I'll only have to pay for Sildara. Um, can I do something about this economy? We could gain more states. I have four states and seven territories, but all of my territories are. Deshimhain has converted. 
Uh, me day is being converted by a religious center. All right, let's go for. Uh... Okay, we've avoided religious turmoil by doing the reformed thing, which is probably for the best anyway, because then we won't have to struggle against two centers. That would be way too much. Uh, Santi now produces fur. Santi has spawned natives. I really do not care. Santi's natives are getting murdered. And we're good. We are good. What is this? Kiowa? Okay, good. It's a person. It's not a colony. This is important. Uh, next, I believe I'll go for Mexico, just because I'm very interested in eating natives. Oh no, the Royal Marriage of France! Quick! Remarry! Yeah! We're married. Hello, France. Uh, you're very unhappy with me. I'm gonna need to... Uh... Sildara has converted. Please tell me you're converting Gloucester Shire. Yes, they started converting Gloucester Shire. As I suspected. And then very soon everything that's not a colony will be converted. Hmm. Can I fix my economy a bit more? Um The missionary maintenance is part of that cost. It is actually a very noticeable part of that cost. I also have fort maintenance. Because I have marches in London. I could delete marches. If I delete marches, that'll actually fix the economy. Yeah, okay. Done. It's a steep price to pay. It won't fully fix the economy, though. State maintenance. It almost fixed the economy. It was a... Uh... And I can mothball this one. There. We should be good now. Yeah, 0 0.07 positive income represent. All right, guys, keep colonizing like this. I encourage it. Uh, lose some ducats or lose prestige. Hmm. Ignore them. Who cares? We have a stable government. Me. And these are colonizing quite nicely. We have a garbage hair that just appeared. Can I disinherit you? Apparently I can't disinherit yet. Price of fur goes up, why not? Oh, there we go, there's a button. Prestige needs to be at least zero. Yes. He's so garbage. He is so garbage. I don't want you on a throne. We've converted Sligeech. To add him Hain. I want to convert all of Ireland. Let's recall the French guy. Castille is still cool with us. Sorry, man. This island is just so much on fire that I had to go reformed. It was my only choice. Oh, the trade fervor disabled itself. It lasted for a while. It probably helped the economy while it lasted, but... Uh... Hmm. Yeah, if my prestige was higher, this wouldn't be a problem. Between base value, peace, prestige, positive stability, and religious unity, I'd be gaining five points. I think there's also ways to get more fervor. Like, maybe if I take religious. Leglin has converted to reformed. This is good. Now all that is missing is Gloucester Shire. Uh... Times of need. I can ask for money. Can ask for diplomatic aid or prestige. Um, what's your income like? I can't tell because you're not my vassal. Um, I kind of want that, but I also kind of really want points. You also have like five, so. Our diplomats could learn from Castille, you're right. Right? Right? Please, Castille. 
please help me. You are my only hope. Give me some free Diplo points. When can I embrace the institution now? The offense will not be forgotten. Damn it! Castillo you have failed me. You had one job. Uh, how close is this? Okay, fine. It's now it's now flipping way faster because it's completely surrounded. Yeah, it spreads really quickly. That means once it's there, it'll be embraced automatically, and then we'll deck up. Yeah, at one per month, it's less than a year. Yeah, once this is done, we will deck up. Irish pirates can be kept the way they are. Norway, whatever. Uh, Scotland is still his dynasty. I would like to pee with Scotland. That would be so much easier. Uh, it's very un well. Right now, our prestige is garbage anyway. Oh, and you're allied to Sweden as well. Although that would give me an option to attack uh, Scotland without having to fight France, and I could break Scotland and France up. Well, actually, attacking Sweden and throwing France at it would also break uh, that. But it also means fighting Sweden, and I really don't like that idea. It doesn't make me feel at ease. I'm gonna recall the Castille guy. Some council was established, and I gained points. I'll take it. I'll definitely take it. Has long time rivals, England has lost provinces. Okay, Tretumheim has converted. Uh, Uded. And Connacht are the only two that are left to convert. Probably should have converted Connacht first. I don't know what this is flipping, so who knows. Um, oh, this. Could be. No, it's probably this one. Maybe one of the centers is slacking? No, wait, there's no... Wait, there. oh, yeah. There's three centers, I see. Protestant, Protestant. Oh, there's reform down here. So no, it's actually this one is probably getting flipped by uh, Scotland or England or whatever. Hmm. Now it's actually kind of funny, because we're the same religion, but we still hate the crap out of each other. But, of course, you desire all of, you know, my land back. Unfortunately for you, it's my land. Improve relations with Scotland some more. And I'm gonna make Scotland trust me a bit more. Delaware spawned natives, I do not care. Kill all the natives, oppress the crap out of them. Estates are still active for the good stuff. You can gain charters and gain a bunch of diplo points. And the estate. The, inst the institution, sorry, I keep saying estate for this. So close! Next month! What, how, how do you get 1534 when it's gonna be there next month? Game? Please make sense. Present in Sildar. Okay, and now if I go here... It costs me 38 ducats. Well, crap. Where can I find 38 ducats? Merchants? No. Clergy? Can't give me ducats. Nobility? Can give me generals, but not ducats. Hmm. Where can I get ducats? I could dunk army maintenance, or I could just corrupt myself some more. I could take a loan. I kind of don't want to, though. I'd rather the base currency than take a loan. The base currency it is! Now we can. Uh... Why is it not present? Oh, because it's not present in my colonial uh... provinces. Yeah. Whatever. Done. Colonialism! Yeah! Now I'm gonna try to root out corruption faster. Because this is pretty sad. And unbalanced research is such a curse, but now that we've embraced the thing, at least, we can tech up. Not have unbalanced research anymore. And now our corruption will go down, at least, in a sensible fashion. Better unit types? Oh, we got rebels. Relayed is unhappy, probably because I'm converting it. Missionary strength? Why not? Um... 
Raider units. Schwarz Raider and uh, Condotta. Already have. Culverin. Alright, we're good. Now, I debased my currency, which means I have all this money. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Impressive. I've become a, I've become a great power. Great Irish power Desmond. Probably not for much longer, but still. While it lasts, great Irish power Desmond. Yeah. Fantastic. The world shall tremble before our uh, poorly supplied and armed forces. Let's, uh... Build a building. In honor of this. Well, wow, that's all terrible. Workshop? Workshop much better. Yeah. Okay. Fantastic. Let's go. Provincial unrest is still pretty high in Ulaid. That's because we're converting it, and it's full of... Actually, no modifiers. It's just unhappy. Catholic zealots in the vassal. Only in St. Vincent, though, but are you converting it? Is that why, uh... Gloucester Shire has converted? Where's St. Vincent? It's here. Oh, it's because you're converting it. Yes, so it's gonna go away. You are properly reformed, right? Oh, now you're threatening peasants. Uh, you're an idiot. You didn't let it decay. You are a complete moron. That's an 8k stack that's going to spawn. Okay, let's get the boats on the case. And let's, uh... Actually, let's do that automatically. Let's just tell the game to do it for us. Because I don't want to be micromanaging it since it'll take two trips anyway. Let's do it automatically. Alright. New World Colonization Rights has expired. Let's give it back to them. And grant New World Charters. Fantastic. And now we can convert, say, Massachusetts. Pretty sure I'll be able to convert most of this before the colony is finished. Delaware gets 100 population just because it's trying to prove me wrong. Religious civil disorder in the vassal because of course he has that. Um, fortunately, he's probably going to be fine, I hope. Got some Catholic zealots in Massachusetts. That is also fine. Wait! We're in 1534. This is an important thing to consider. Holy crap, you have a lot of friends. You have a lot of crappy friends, but you have a lot of friends. East Frisia is also interesting. If I could get that as a vassal friend person. Gain Diplo points. Yeah. All right. Before I take up Diplo again, I need to take up admin one more tick. Uh, corruption is being a giant pain. Fortunately, we have an admin idea, and we have neighbor bonus, so that kind of compensates. But uh, corruption is going to be a pain for a while. I debased my currency too hard. But that's okay, it's such a great thing. Because it's kind of like a loan, but it eventually repays itself. In the meantime, it just makes me cost a bit more points, but... As long as I don't fall too hard behind, it's not too big of a deal, I don't think. Uh, but that makes me really want to go espionage next. I think my next idea will be espionage. Because it'll allow me to base more currency. It'll make my subjects more uh, in line. It'll give me an extra diplomat, which would be more useful if I used them more. And uh, the rest I don't really care too, too much about it, but it's still nice. Oh, we, we have high fervor. Excellent. I can go for stability. Or... Uh, Let's go for trade. Let's get more money. Let's get more money as we watch uh, our corruption and our inflation slowly go down. How are the boats? I should get more boats. I should build more boats. Oh no, natives and Santi. Whatever am I going to do? Okay. Um, why am I paused? Uh, more settlements means more taxes. Yeah! Tax the crap out of them. Will Massachusetts be converted in time? Probably. I don't think I'll be able to convert something else, though. I definitely will not. Massachusetts has converted. 
Let's go convert Adix Fjord, because that's safe. Is that part of a... That's not even a colonial nation. That is just land. Alright. Why not, right? Can gain mercantilism. Or piss off the merchants. Uh, I can't afford to have them more gain more influence. Which is the same, because mercantilism is nice. Um... Yeah, my mercantilism isn't even that high. Hmm. This guy's transferring trade power to us, which is great. But then that makes that means I take a loan. I guess I can take a loan. I will take a loan and I will deal with these guys uh, as soon as I can. Let's recall the Scotland guy. We've taken a big loan. Should be able to repay it though. Compensated losses, blah blah. Uh, in four years, recruited minister goes away. We'll be fine. Excellent. And I really want to take up an admin. This is going down by point oh, at, at least point oh one per month. Did I hear the sound of losing money? Am I losing money? I think I'm losing money right now. Boats, how about you uh, dock yourselves where it's safe? Okay, and hopefully you're not stuck with uh, religious rebels here. Were you able to convert anything other than that? Santi has become self-sustaining, which means we can go prepare to colonize something else. Let's have our boats prepared to escort these guys to a new greener pasture, probably Mexico. I would quite like to have Mexico uh, in my country, so I'm gonna work on that. It's a nice little hobby while we wait for England to be ready for integration. Um, but I will have to prepare for that eventuality. Oh, I'm making a lot more money. Oh, but the colony is no longer active, that's why. Okay. Grab the guys and bring them to the bring them to the Rio Grande estuary. I don't want to punch Kayo in the face, but these guys are all like they all have so many friends that even though they're weak, there's just too many of them. I need to drop like a twenty stack to come fight these guys, and I don't even have a twenty stack. You're like Iroquois, and you're kind of catching up in tech. That's a bit scary. Okay, we're taking up the 8, and therefore I can take this up to 11. This is fine. And then very soon we will have modern theocracy. Yeah. Can I get points? Uh, I cannot get points for another 9 years. Adix Fjord has converted. Hey, I would have had time to convert uh, Manhattan. Oh, well, it's not. It's fight development. You should be fine to convert it on your own. Or Bermuda, even. When are you finishing? You're finishing too soon. It's not worth it. I won't even bother sending it. Um. Oh, and England keeps taking these tiny islands. He still hasn't founded a colonial nation, though. That's good for us. You're still colonizing so very slowly. Uh, okay, get these guys and drop them on this place before the colonist arrives. Delaware has become self-sustaining. Don't I get the colonial nation? Maybe Bermuda is not actually part of a colonial region. If that's the case, then I need to get another one. I need another pro- oh, Chesapeake! How did I not notice that? How did I forget about Chesapeake? We're gonna go get it. We're gonna go get ourselves some Chesapeake. Yeah. Most excellent. And now that means I have time to convert Manhattan. 
It also means that Bermuda is not part of anything. Connect has converted to Reformed. We expected that. Actually, I didn't, but that's magical. British Isles are religiously uh, united. And on that note, I will thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time, where we'll probably go to war with England again. See you guys next time.